Hello doers, welcome back. Just like how a car service light warns you when it's time for maintenance, today we're gonna set up that very same alert inside of Odoo using AI to tell us when fleet vehicles need servicing. Here at Stealthywood, we have been expanding our service map and purchasing many new vehicles for our fleet. The issue is that with this level of growth, we've run into a problem where at times we lose track of which vehicles are up for maintenance and whether or not they should even be out on the road. Currently, our fleet manager manually checks the odometer distance and maintenance dates. This leads to a loss in uptime and can make it difficult to reduce costs where vehicles could have received more minor repairs before evolving into expensive repairs. We are going to use AI to monitor odometer readings and the same service logs that our techs use, and we're also going to create automatic tagging and automate stage movements so that we can keep track of our fleet with little human intervention. This type of automation will reduce our delayed services by upwards of 80% while requiring us to schedule maintenance in order to bring vehicles back into operation. And that's a safety thing because this in turn saves the company time wasted on potentially having to call a tow truck for a vehicle that should have never been available to use. Together, this will reduce repair costs by up to 30% while allowing vehicles to remain in service for a much longer duration due to that regular maintenance. So enough chit chat, let's dive into Odoo and see how it works. So here we are starting out on the main fleet app dashboard. We can actually see our active vehicles over in the active column along with the drivers, contracts and other things, and a bunch of tags. On the note of tags and stages, we notice there happens to be one already in the service stage. Let's click on this Nissan and see what's going on. If we scroll down over here, you're gonna find the section on the left labeled service assistant, which displays Key details like the vehicle's most recent service date, the odometer at the time, and the current odometer reading. These numbers matter because the extra mileage that we have over our threshold, well, that's what our actual assistant uses to determine whether the vehicle is due for maintenance or not. And our assistant has determined that this has a high risk level and it's stated a reason why. But there's more. Well, just one more thing. Our vehicle is actually already tagged with the services due tag up above. So the last step for our AI assistant was to remove the vehicle from operation in our active stage and move it on over to service until a service record is performed. This is important for safety and traceability depending on the type of vehicle services that your company deals with. All right, let's click up here in the top right corner. We're gonna open up Odoo Studio. Great. And then from here, we're gonna click on our service assistant. And on the left-hand side, you'll see we've toggled AI by checking it off. And we're having AI text for our widget. So let's click in there. Okay. This is our Odoo AI prompt. We are telling our AI to determine the urgency of services only from completed service logs, ensuring it relies on accurate records rather than in progress entries. Next, after that, we define clear output rules. The assistant must calculate the kilometer since the last service, compare it against the 5,000 kilometer threshold, and classify the result into one of three risk levels, low, medium, high. These are useful for our internal purposes and they can be used for other industries to denote how safe the vehicle is for operation. For example, a factory could repurpose a similar prompt to work with machinery for a similar outcome. Finally, the assistant provides a simple recommendation and you can tell it's nice and short and this way the user knows whether to schedule service soon or safely wait until later. Our prompt also specifies the input data, the actual fields that are pulled from Odoo. To add to these, I'm gonna show you on a random line. If I type a forward slash and then I select field selector, I'm presented with the ability to select any field. And that's why it is important to know where each field lives inside of Odoo and what it's called. So for this assistant, we have set the input data to take the vehicle model as the display name up here. And that's so that Odoo knows which vehicle to search for. Then from here, we feed it the last service odometer stage, odometer value, the service date, so that it knows which date to compare against the prior reading and the previous service. From here, you can decide on a structure for your own output. Ours is shown on the screen just so you could see. And as you can see from wherever I place this, perhaps on the left or the right, our format here mirrors what you saw earlier with these same text fields. Okay, let's close out this prompt and open up our automations tab. Here, we can see two automations working hand in hand with our prompt. The first one sets the tag for our automation, so let's click it inside of there. Okay, 
inside of our actions to do tab, we have our actual action there. And inside of it, we've, we're, I'm going to start with a quick overview of it. Here is our title and then our type. Now I'm going to hover over it because it's the type of server action that we want. And in this case, we want to update a record. And we're going to do that update with AI. And what portion of it? Well, the tag. And we tell it to add one of the various tags you saw earlier if the risk level matches the output for one of our AI evaluation inputs. Inside of our prompt, the risk levels separated the three kinds of states a vehicle can be in as low, medium, and high. This automation creates a connection to those states by associating tags for each of them. For example, a risk level of high has us adding the tag. Services do schedule ASAP, which a technician can see without having to open a vehicle's overview on the main Kanban view. This quick bit of information could let them know why a vehicle may be in the repair stage without having to check if it was related to an accident or other reason. Let's discard this and go back to our rules. Okay, let's take a look at our stage automation. So the second one here finishes the workflow by updating the stage of a vehicle and the trigger is set to a tag being added. Now we're gonna click inside of our action this time around. Similarly to the first one, our server action is update record with AI, but this time we're targeting state. And what does that mean? Well, for this one, if the services do tag is added, we trigger this automation, which happens to update the state to in service or repair. If it happens to be low, our state, well, it's over on active. But why did we do that? It's because this way we don't need manual intervention. A vehicle moves to the repair stage automatically, lowering the chance of human error in the event that a tech forgets to move a vehicle, or if something gets accidentally moved. While each action is straightforward, the cool part is that we can chain different automations together to complete the entire task. Large language models require a clear task and the right amount of context to perform tasks accurately and consistently. If, for example, we tried to add a tag and update stages in the same action, the model might get confused so we break it up into two automations so that we can write clear prompts for each. Let's close out of here and close out of Odoo Studio. Okay, enough theory, let's test this out. So I happen to be a service technician whose sole duty it is to report on our fleet vehicle odometer readings. So we're gonna go into the fleet app dashboard over here and select the Volkswagen in the bay right now. It looks like the last time that this vehicle was in here, no need of service, everything looks clean, but Time for us to input the odometer. Let's pretend that I looked over. I'm reading a very even 10,000 today. We're gonna save this, go back to our Volkswagen. The other part of my duty is also to run the service assistant. So we're gonna run that, let it think for a second there. And, well, would you look at that? Our assistant has updated us with the pertinent information. Since the vehicle is over the 5K threshold, it was, as soon as I save it, immediately taken out of commission and moved to the in-service stage, making sure our drivers don't pick this vehicle while seeing the tag to understand why it is in that stage. And there you have it, O'Doers. In record time, your techs can understand the status of a vehicle immediately. This will save time and allow workers to do other tasks without worrying about the mathematics or the timeline for a vehicle's service history. The time saved comes from frequent maintenance, ensuring problems are caught early. And finally, the vehicles will be safer and in better conditions, reducing the risk of vehicular accidents. The accounting department gains clear visibility into repair costs, fuel usage, and parts expenses, making budgeting and forecasting more accurate. This also reduces the risk of surprise costs and enables better long-term financial planning. Now, human resources. Well, this supports driver well-being by reducing breakdowns, accidents, and liability concerns tied to poorly maintained vehicles while also improving employee satisfaction and retention by providing a safer, more reliable work environment. That's it for today. See you at the next one.